Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily start Google Maps with um, TomTom speed cameras in the background to give you speed camera alerts when you uh, when you're driving. Now, you can obviously start these manually each time you uh, um, start Google Maps, and then you can nip back out, start TomTom, bit of a faff, and you kind of forget to uh, start the speed camera app. So, what I'm going to show you here is a way to use a an NFC card. Uh, and I've got another video where you can see how, how these work um, and the application that we're using to automate this with. Um, but if you go into automate this time and let's start a new one, come back out, start a new one. So we're gonna say, um, oops, add an NFC block for when a tag is scanned go so we can say when the tag is scanned start an app so if we look in here where's the app one app start so we can say I've scanned a tag any tag and later you can look at using an if statement to detect which tag you're scanning now we can say pick a package so in this case I'm going to start the speed camera app first scroll down this massive list and it's TomTom Tom speed cameras from there and then you can pick a class within it let's have a look speed cameras or TomTom Tom speed cameras no nope, speed cameras and speed cam activity and not thought about any of that so I think I think we could say done so let's try that so just start that one scan the tag and it showed us tag two ah one of our other flows is running look let's stop on that one Right, so this would oh, be good if I'd labeled these ones. So this is the right app. And it was waiting for a tag to be scanned. Huh, no, it's not working. Let's just check that. Oh, so we say any in here. There we go. And now TomTom Tom started with the speed camera app down at the bottom corner. So you can extend this now. So now we've got the speed camera app working. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm just going to exit the app. Now we can also say start another app. And this time we'll start Google Maps. Maps or Google Maps. It's Maps. Wish you could search this list. There's Maps. Now I wonder if you can do it without picking a class. So you can take it straight into driving mode let's try maps activity and say done done start now there we go so it started google maps for some reason i don't see the speed camera app which is dead annoying try that again Ah, now when it exits the flow, it stops. So it stops running because we haven't got a loop back from the end of that one 
to scanning another tag. So the flow will finish. So let's try that again. There's Google Maps. And speed cameras is there. It's in the ah, oh, it's gone into its background mode. Um, or the the one where it doesn't do an overlay. And where can we set the overlay? Oh, here it is. It's that one there. So now, now that one's appearing at the same time. Let's exit, close, start again. Now you can see the icon on the top of the screen, uh, the little cog that shows that um, one of the automate flows is still running in the background. So we should be able to just scan the tag. And Google Maps has started. Why is TomTom Speed Cameras not running? Oh, and there it was. All right, try that again. Close. I'm going to do it. Stupid thing. Maybe if we do it the other way around, have Google Maps start first and then put a delay in before it runs. speed camera. So let's move that out of the way. Zoom out. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right, start maps first. And put delay. Delay of, let's say, five seconds. Done. Now I'll start speed cameras. And then loop back. Done. Start. All right, let's see what happens now. Google Maps. Tom Tom. Yay. So we've got speed camera alerts over the top now, exactly what we wanted. So when you start the driving uh, and directions, then that stays over the top, giving you speed camera alerts. Perfect. Got there in the end.